I'm Dr. Michael Marglin. Colonoscopy is a test that allows me to look into the colon with a high-definition video camera and get a detailed view of what's going on inside. I can do this if someone's having diarrhea or perhaps some blood from the rectum. Often I do it as a screening test looking for any colon polyps or colon cancer. We know that colon cancer usually starts as a benign tumor called a polyp. We've shown by removing these polyps of colonoscopy that we can prevent three-quarters of colon cancers before they become cancers. This is the only place in medicine where we can intervene at a pre-cancer stage and prevent the cancer that would otherwise be expected. In order to do a thorough exam, it's important that you clean out the bowel uh, with some strong laxatives. I've made some significant improvements in the laxatives, and I think it makes it more tolerable and more convenient for my patients. Uh, you'll come in, we'll do this at an outpatient facility usually called Garden State Endoscopy Center, uh, which specializes in upper endoscopy and colonoscopy exams. Uh, when you come in, the nurse will interview you. They'll start an IV and intravenous in your arm. And when we're ready to start, I'll have a board-certified anesthesiologist and give you a strong sedative. It's not a general anesthesia, but it's enough of a sedative that you won't be aware of the procedure, and you should be completely comfortable with, the, with and during the procedure. After the procedure, I have put in a lot of air. You may feel a little gassy. Uh, usually that uh, discomfort, if any, goes away pretty quickly. By the time people get home, most people feel, feel fine. Uh, but because of the sedative, it's important that someone else drive you home. You shouldn't drive or make any crucial decisions the rest of the day because your, your judgment may be impaired. Uh, the risks of the tests are uh, rare. Uh, there is a rare risk of a bad reaction to the sedative. The anesthesiologist will watch your blood pressure, your heart rate, your oxygen level. Um, there's a rare risk of bleeding from the test, internal bleeding. It's mostly in cutting out any of these polyps. And a rare risk of a perforation, making a hole through the bowel, uh, mostly in cutting out these polyps. Uh, I've done thousands of these. I, I have a great deal of experience. Um, there are some alternative tests that can be done as screening tests for colon cancer, colon, uh, or to a lesser degree, for colon polyps. Uh, there's a test called a CT colonography, or virtual colonoscopy. Um, it's pretty good for finding colon cancers, although I have found one colon cancer at a colonoscopy that was missed on the CT um, virtual colonoscopy. Um, if a polyp is found at the CT colonography, then they have to decide whether to e either ignore it, repeat the exam at one or two years, uh, or repeat the colonoscopy with a, a real colonoscopy immediately so that I can remove the polyp. Uh, there's a test called a flexible sigmoidoscopy, which is similar to a a limited colonoscopy. In fact, we may use the same instrument, but instead of looking all the way around the colon, we just look at the rectum and a little bit above. It gives a lot of information about the lower part, but no information about any polyps or cancers that might be higher up. The simplest test is just testing a bowel movement specimen for any hidden blood, but it misses a lot of cancers and it's not at all sensitive for finding uh, colon polyps. And, and again, if we found something on the, the stool test, then you need a colonoscopy. I hope this was helpful. Um, please call my office if you have any questions at 908-272-6300, um, or you can call me if you have any uh, more detailed questions. Have a good day.